Yes. I mean, so basically how to enter the industry and how to grow in the industry. Mm. Mm. I would say you basically have two ways of doing it. There are two paths. Um, it, it is tough depending which path you go. I would say both, both paths could be tough and challenging, but the first path could be going with a big company, as you mentioned, right? So whether joining a large exchange, whether Binance, Coinbase, getting a job there and kind of get, getting into the entire space, that is a great path. It does give you almost in a way a cushion of, of being with a big company. Uh, it, it does remove some of the risk involved, uh, but I think it also might limit some of the possible growth. Obviously, it, it, it is good having kind of as somebody who's worked in the, in the corporate world with, with the Fortune 500 company like IBM, I definitely do know that that is a good brand name and or logo to put on your resume or CV, right? Uh, but it would also depend on the role. I would say most companies like Binance or Coinbase are definitely good. Uh, I, w- I would definitely find areas in crypto that are trending and then try to almost in a way align with that. So find, so skate, skate where the puck is going, not where it is today, right? So right now, if we project where is crypto going, what's the future of crypto? Uh, for example, DeFi is, is trending upward. And I think in the next two years, DeFi is going to be even bigger, right? So maybe you get a, a job with a company in the DeFi space that you think will be big in the next few years, whether that's mm. an exchange like DYDX, for example, as opposed to going with Binance, or maybe it's with Compound, right? But I would say definitely skate, try to project where the puck is going. Uh, one other way would be joining a small company that has potential where you have the, op- the, uh, the option or to wear multiple hats and do lots of different things because that also lets you build lots of different skills and lets you really get involved. So for example, with, to- with token metrics, uh, one of our interns, uh, Sam, he's, he's been, he joined us as an intern. Um, then he, we brought him on board and he's done so many things. Uh, he's, he's worked with us as an investment analyst. He's helped us with business development where he's reached out to crypto hedge funds. He's helped us close deals, helped us with work, helped us work with um, tech stars and just the, the things he was exposed to in just two years working with us are things he would not have been exposed to working anywhere else. I mean, he's traveled with us to the Middle East to host our conferences where he, where he was the MC, right? And he basically had not only access, but because we were a small company, we let him do so many different things that if he joined a different company as, as a, at a junior level, he would not have had the ability to do all those different things and in a way mm-hmm. also build up his resume. So mm-hmm. that's why I also like the, the, the option of going with a small company. But in general, both have their pros and cons. Uh, I don't think either one is wrong. It all, it all kind of depends on what you're doing. Uh, I would say if, if you have a good safety net or if you have some good money saved up, then maybe going with a, with a, with a smaller company now, it doesn't have to be a startup. It could just be a small hedge, crypto hedge fund, right? Maybe you join as an analyst or whatever skill set you bring. And that gives you, I would say, whatever goals you have, where you're trying to go, and the people you're trying to meet, go into a role that lets you meet, meet those people. All right? So if your goal is to have your own fund down the road, then you definitely have to network with investors. So maybe mm. that, that means you go and network with uh, I w- that means you go and join a small crypto hedge fund that lets you go out there and travel and meet with other funds or investors and kind of build up your ne- network. Or if you're a developer, then that means you, you probably want to do something else, right? So it all depends on your goals and where you're trying to go. But just make sure wherever you, whatever you're doing, skate to where the puck is going in the next two to three years, not where it is now. So don't get a job in what's trending now, get a job in what's trending in the future, and then try to network with the people you would like to work with in the future, right? So if your job is to launch a fund down the road, then you have to network with investors and build up your your Rolodex. If your job is to work with a big company like a Binance or Coinbase, 
uh, that would also be good, but it, it could mature in other aspects. So both have pros and cons. Cool. Thank you. Okay. No worries.